Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Hazen Union for today's baseball game between the Wildcats of Hazen Union and the Solons from Montpelier. Montpelier comes into the game at 1-1. One one. They lost to Missisquoi Valley Union, but they beat Peoples. And this is Hazen's opener. So we don't know what to expect. And talking to the coaches, said they're just going to look for good play. They don't know where their hitters are yet. This is the first time they've been outside. Um, on a game, so we'll see what happens. I'm John Lucier, going to do the broadcasting today. I got Mike Baker here. He's going to provide all the expert color. <laughs> and uh, again, we're broadcasting on HCTV. Let me give a quick shout out to our sponsors here before we get started. Today's game is being brought to you by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, also known as GMTCC. Jumpstart your future, and they are right now accepting applications for any GMTCC programs, and they got a whole list of them. So if you're interested at all, just give them a call. Now the lineups are being presented at home plate, so I'm going to turn this over to Mike Baker, and he'll give you the starting lineup for Hazen. Uh, thank you, John. What a beautiful day it is, and it's been um, all spring, these guys waiting to get outside. So for um, Hazen, who returns six starters from last year, um, starting at, leading off at, um, in center field is senior Jaden Baker. Um, batting second is senior Tyler Rivard playing shortstop. Batting third is senior James Montgomery catching. Next up is senior Lyle Rooney pitching. And then we have junior Andrew Menard who, um, who is uh, coming off another solid year as a, as a uh, standout sophomore last year. Then we have junior Dan DeGroslier in left field, junior Jake Drown or Jake Davison playing first base, sophomore Brendan Moody at second, and then freshman Owen Scorstad playing right field. So very solid lineup for Hazen um, coming off a, a season where they made it to the state semi state finals and um, got to play, John. That was their first finals in a long time, wasn't it? That was the first finals in a long time. And of course, we went two or three years without even having a program here. So it's good to see it back. Um, just to mention a little bit about the starting lineup, uh, they're pretty excited. I talked to Coach Spencer Howard. He's pretty excited about his pitching depth this year. He's got four or five really good pitchers that can come in and throw. And one of them is a sophomore transfer, Brendan Moody. He's going to be playing where? Shortstop, Mike? Um, no, I no. think Brendan's at second, second base Second base, today, yeah. and uh, we all know what he did on the basketball court helping the program, so I think Spencer's expecting him to bring that momentum right over to the baseball program because he played. He did play for the state championship team from Peoples last year, so that gives him an extra depth. So we'll see what happens. Again, Hazen being Division Three, playing a Division Two team, They just like in basketball, they try to upgrade their schedule and get the best competition they can because regular season you just want to get better and better and you can only get better by playing better competition. And, right John and that's really helped our sports programs over the last um, year or two um, moving to the capital. Um, it, it's been really good having to play teams like Montpelier and Spalding, Harwood, Lamoille, those teams have been really really good for us to play them and uh, help us prepare for playoffs at the end of the season. And this Montpelier team that we're playing today, they're coming off another great basketball season where they won the state championship in Division Two. They have a great basketball program and well coached, so I'm sure they're, uh, they're gonna have a good baseball team out here on the field today. And you know, Mike, we were talking uh, a little bit before the game, not only is Montpelier a good team and everything, but they're, they're kind of a classy team. Their basketball players were all good class. Their coaches are great. They love coming to Hazen. And if they could come play basketball on a Friday night during the season, they would come every Friday night. They love the atmosphere up here, and uh, they just love coming. Okay, now Hazen boys are taking the field, and we're getting ready to start. Let me quickly go over the Montpelier lineup. Number 19 is Keegan Smith. He'll be pitching. Number 16 is Nate Groff. He'll be catching. Number 13 is Andrew Tringe, and he'll be playing first. Number nine is Will Talbert. He'll be playing third base. Number seven is Nick Rubin, and he'll be playing um, left field. Number 17 is Colden Hollinsworth. He'll be playing center. Number six is Niles Hogan. He's in right field. Number 11 is Lucas Elber. He'll be playing second base. Number 10 is Soren Bay Hansen, and he's going to be the DH for Lucas Elber. They're going to use the DH for Montpelier right off the bat. And then number one is Clayton Foster, and he will be playing shortstop. 
and uh, looks like we have Lyle Rooney on the mound today. And Lyle had, had a great season last year, and I know he's been chomping at the bit to get on the mound. Um, I know the guys were a little disappointed that they couldn't get out and play Thursday, but definitely a lot of excitement for them. And we've got a nice crowd out here on this beautiful Saturday morning at Hazen. And one thing about the seniors, Mike, is you talk to them a little bit. They're talking a little unfinished business from last year. They got it on their mind. You know, they had good success in basketball, but they would really like to just put a championship belt, you know, on their resume a little bit when they graduate. But that team from Peoples is going to be tough. Right. That, from my understanding is um, that team from Peoples has now moved into Division Two for Ooh. baseball. They... Um, just like this year, just like last year, they have players coming from Stowe High School and Peoples combined. So they've, they're in D2 this year, which is, um, which I think is a good spot considering um, the two teams combined yep. like that. So yep. Yeah, and, and it allows kids that don't have a program in their own school to play. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so leading off from Montpelier, we got number 19, the pitcher, Keegan Smith. We're just about ready for the first pitch here. First pitch of the season. Rooney gets a signal. Working from the stretch. The first pitch is a ball outside. You see um, Coach Howard already adjusting the outfield defense a little bit with the left hander up at the plate. Yep. Montpelier has a lot of big boys on their team. And there's a strike, swing and a miss. Rooney gets another two or three pitches out, and the jitters will be gone. The first game jitters, and they'll be down to business. Oh, yes. One thing that could help uh, Hazen today is the wind's blowing in a little bit. Keep the ball in play. Oh, yeah. yeah, nice pitch on the inside corner. And I believe, John, Hazen's only been out on the field a couple times this year. The snow just barely melted, oh, so yeah. they, they have not been outside much. But the field is in pretty good shape. One, two pitch, outside, high and outside, two and two. This is the nicest opening day game I remember in the last four <laughs> years with my son playing. I can't remember any other. No, usually it's raining and cold. It and is. Oh, there's, a, there's an off-speed pitch, swing and yeah. a miss. And the first batter for Montpelier and the first one of the year against Hazen goes down on strikes. Yeah, great pitch from Rooney, taking a little bit off it after throwing all, all, uh, fastballs, all fastballs before balls. that. And the guy was way out in front of it. Uh, this is number 16, Nate Groff. He's the catcher for Montpelier, batting right-handed, and here's the pitch. A little bit high. Yeah, like I said, Hazen's got good pitch and depth. Um, <clears throat> with Tyler Rivard, Andrew Menard, Brendan Moody, Lyle. There's a fly ball to deep center. Uh, being chased out there, he's under it. Uh, One hands it, he's got it. And who's playing? Uh, Jaden Baker. Jaden Baker, oh, you know that boy. I know him a little you bit. You know him a little bit. <laughs> Jaden Baker got underneath it, circled it. Um, I'm not too, I'm never keen, I'm a baseball fan, but I'm never keen of a one-handed catch so <laughs> out there. I like the two hands, but he nailed it down in good shape. So that brings uh, the number three hitter, Andrew Tringe. He's also playing first base. Big, tall young man. Oh, nice curveball right in there. Yes. Yeah. Rooney looks like he's on it today. He does. All in one to count. Rooney still working from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Oh, there's a oh. field it to first. Rooney gets over and covers, and it's a yeah. one, two, three inning for Hazen. They look very sharp in the yep. field. Rooney's throwing strikes, and at the end of a half inning, it's Montpelier no score with Hazen coming to bat. We're just about ready to start the bottom half of the first. It's gonna be Jaden Baker leading off, center fielder that just made that good catch. Um, he's a senior, big mainstay in athletics and all three sports. And of course, the son of my expert color man uh. here, Mike <laughs> Baker. Um, oh man, I was thinking about it on the way over, John, his last sport, senior year. And the last one you have, right? Yes, yeah. last one I have. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we all went through that. Oh, man. So, pitching for Montpelier will be Keegan Smith. He'll be pitching to Jaden Baker, and we're just about ready to start here. And the Hazen bench comes alive like they always do. Oh, there you are, always into it. <laughs> they are always into it. 
We'll see if they're going to be any first pitch swing in here. Wind up. Strike on the inside corner. Jaden's looking one over. Yep. Lefty on the mound for Montpelier here. Second pitch is high and outside. Brings the count to one and one. Swing and a miss, nice pitch on the outside corner. Took a little bit off that pitch. Yeah, good looking pitch there. Yeah. Baker steps in, he's behind one and two. Got to protect that plate. Oh, pitcher steps off. Strike three, goes down swinging. That's one down. Tyler Revard up. Tyler Revard, name known all over the state. Not only just in basketball, but in two other sports also. Probably one of the better, if not the best, three sport athletes to ever come out of Hazen. Yeah, he's done well at he's all three sports, well. that's for sure. Looks at the first pitch, strike on the outside corner. This Montpelier pitcher is dealing strikes. Ball's high. Tyler almost went, but he laid off on it. Well, that's one of the things, that, talking to Coach Howard, that he was going to watch for today. Being outdoors, facing live pitching outdoors, right, not in the right. gym. You know, it's a whole different deal. So he's just going to look for a solid game today. Oop, he holds up, holds up. No, they appeal it first. Wow, it, that it, was close. That was close. <laughs> didn't go around. Didn't go around. It was close. So we got a two-ball, one-strike count on Revard. There's a pitch, high. And it makes you wonder, he's around the plate, but he's not over the plate. It makes you wonder if he's staying away from Tyler a little bit. Yeah. Or, early yeah. in the season, you wonder. He might be, might be. He's the one big power hitter that he can really get a hold of it. There's a base hit to left field. First hit of the year for Hazen. They get the ball in quickly, and Good. Tyler Rebird's on first with a single. Of course, yeah, well hit to left field there. If I remember right, Mike, he uh, he batted over 400 last year, 454 or something oh, did like he? that. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, boy, that would have been a yeah. That's a heck of an average. That is. Yeah. So we have James Montgomery. James is another solid senior player for Hazen here. It's very solid behind Balls. home plate. Ball high, first pitch. He's one and zero. Now we got to watch Revard. See if he'll try to take a base on the catcher. It's hired sometimes with a left-handed pitcher to get a good lead. Yeah, yep. You gotta be careful. Swing and a miss by Montgomery. Yeah, last year Tyler was really aggressive on the bases, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him trying to pick a pitch and go here. There he goes, Tyler's going, swing and a miss, throw down to second, but he slides in head first and he's there. So the first stolen base of the year for Hazen, it comes to Tyler Rebard and um, Tyler Rebard is now in scoring position, a good base hit will score him. That's right. And that's but Montgomery's now got two strikes on him. One and two the count. Oh, he swings and misses, but the ball gets by the catcher. It's going to be a pass ball. Tyler Rebard's going to move up to third. And Montgomery's going to be on fourth. Oh, the pitcher turns his back. Montgomery takes off for second. Dives in head first. Heads up play by James Montgomery. So now Hazen with one out. They have runners at second and third. Both of them are in scoring position. Yeah, that worked out great for Hazen. Strikeout turns into a guy at second, <laughs> second base. base. So. Yeah. So the pitcher gets credit for a strikeout, but there's still only one out in the inning. And here's our pitcher, Lyle Rooney, up. Lyle Rooney can help his own cause right now with a good solid base hit. Ooh, he got a piece of it, good yeah. swing. He had a good swing on that one. Well, I'd like to see him swing a little bit late. There's a pretty good gap between first and second. Oh, big gap out there. That would just 
Second baseman is going to go over and try to cover Montgomery to keep him close. But there's a big hole there. Swing and a ground ball, but it's foul just outside the line at third. But just like that, it's 0-2. And, and this is really is a big adjustment to these guys who haven't seen much live pitching at all. They haven't been outside more than a couple practices. So, Ball inside. Well, it was close, but it was inside, a little high. One and two the count now. Pitch, ooh, strike. Uh, a little bit low and outside to me, it looked by it. He got the call, so that's two down now. So Lyle Rooney down on strikes. And yeah, Andrew Menard up. He had a sub really solid sophomore season last year. Andrew Menard looking to put Hazen on the board. Takes the first pitch as a ball. Gets away from the catcher, but not far enough for Tyler to come in. Andrew Menard, in case you didn't know, played hockey this year for Linden. Did very well. Had a good season. It's good to see these athletes that are that don't have a sport here at their own school can go somewhere else and play, you know. Yeah, I know Jaden said that him and his buddies went over and watched Andrew play and really enjoyed going over to watch watch. You know, one of their close friends play over there. He said it was really enjoyable. Yeah, it's a different sport too, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that pitch was low. Big pitch right here. Wind up in the pitch, strike. Nice yeah, pitch right down yeah. the middle. Big swing from Menard. Yeah, he connected on that one, John. Uh, yeah. What a gone. Well, it was a good pitch to swing at. It was 2-0, and, oh, and it was right down the middle. That's one to take a good whack at. See Absolutely. If you can get, it, get it on. Here's the pitch. Runners will take their lead. Ball's inside. That runs a count to 3-1. and one. Good hitter's pitch right here. He can be a little fussy. He's got a couple to work with. Yeah, definitely picking a spot with this one and trying to drive it if it's yeah. in his spot. If not, he's either looking fastball or off speed, looking for one of them. Oh, high and outside. Didn't have to look very far for that one. Nope. So that loads bases with two outs. Hazen with a good threat here in the first inning. We have another junior, Dan DeGroslier, up, our left fielder. Dan had some timely hits last year for the Wildcats. Seems to me he was driving in about a run or two every game yeah, there he, first he had, a, he had a hot streak there, he that's did. for sure. He did last year. I'd like to see him get a hold of one now. That's a ball. Yeah. So the pitcher having a little trouble finding the range a little bit, you know. And I got to tell you, sometimes you don't like to see it, but a walk right now is a good little base well, hit. I, I agree <laughs> with you there, John. Here's a pitch. Oh, that looked in. Looked good on the inside corner. Be great to get that first run on the board, no matter how you get it. Boy, and if, the, and if Hazen could do it right in the first inning there, first inning outdoors, yeah, that would be a big boost for their morale, confidence. Ooh, Dan Swan got a good piece of it there. He was looking for downtown. He did. That was a good swing. That was a good swing, but he's behind now, one and two, I believe. He's down one and two, so he's got to protect that plate. Oh, off-speed pitch way ahead of it and struck him out. So that ends the inning. And at the end of one inning, it's no score between Montpelier and Hazen. Before we start the second inning, I just want to take a chance to thank our sponsors again. And also, you are watching HCTV Channel 1080. I'm John Lucier, along here with Mike Baker. We're going to bring you all the action. Uh, today we're being sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, and we always support Hazen Athletics. And by Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, also known as GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. They have applications now open for any GMTCC program, so if you're interested, get right in there, get a hold of them. Okay, leading off for Montpelier will be number nine, Will Talbert, the cleanup hitter. Rooney looking to go one, two, three again if he can. He's working from the stretch. Puts it right in there. Nice strike right down the middle, or knee high. So Rooney looks like he's on today, Mike. Yeah, he, he good start for me, throwing strikes. You can uh, 
you can win a lot of ball games if you throw strikes. All right. Oh, there's an off-speed pitch. He had that batter fooled right there. So the batter right now, the cleanup hitter, Will Talbert, he's behind 0 and 2. See what Rooney comes in now. See if he'll try to waste one, throw in the dirt or something. Out. Oh, strike Ooh, three. Yeah. He came back with some heat. That was. He came back with some heat. That was. After that off-speed pitch. So that's Rooney's second strikeout and four hitters. Yeah, that was that was a solid pitch. That was. And even if he made contact with John, with that John, he wouldn't have been able to do much with it. No, he'd have fouled it off or just put it down to the first baseline or something. Now batting for Montpelier is uh, number seven, Nick Rubin. He's their left fielder. That first pitch was a little bit low, of course. Here's a second pitch, oh, a little low. Probably see Lyle go right after him on this one. Yeah, yeah. But you know, Lyle is, uh, he's very confident out there. I wouldn't be surprised to see an off-speed pitch come in. He's not afraid to throw it on 2-0. and all. No, he's not. Uh-oh, there's another fly ball. Jaden is circling, it's to center field. Jaden yeah. comes in, to play the win. One hands it again yeah. and nails it. It's a, it's a tough day out there, I would think, for fielders with the wind blowing around it like is. this. And the wind's blowing in, so you see the ball coming at you, but then all of a sudden the wind stops it, and you got a running because Jaden had to take a t couple of quick steps at the end to come in and get that ball. But pretty short-handed out there. I think Hazen's defense can be pretty good out in the outfield, yes. especially. If you've got good outfield defense, you're pretty good. So now batting for Montpelier is... Uh, Colden Hollingsworth grounded Chance to for rebound. rebound shortstop at first, and that is a quick one, two, three, and in for Hazen. Hazen looking sharp with Rooney on the mound and defense behind him. Very good start, John. Good start. Quick inning there where Rooney didn't have to throw many pitches. Yeah, he must have thrown only about eight or nine pitches that whole inning. Yeah. Spencer Howard and the coaching staff of Opie Upson and uh, Joey Rebar, they've got to be ecstatic with what they've seen the first two winnings against Montpelier. Oh, absolutely. And you know, John, it's hard that, you know, again, they haven't been on the field the field much, and to go out and make those plays in the field, yeah. and uh, that's solid to start the year. Well, another thing, too, with the way they're playing defense starting the game, and you know they'll make some mistakes and some errors as the season goes along, but with defense like that behind you, that's, and, you're, and you're throwing strikes, you know, you've got a lot of confidence on the mound because if you can throw strikes and let them put the ball in play and you know your defense is going to be good, it's all you got to do. And I think part of that, John, is this veteran group of kids, really, returning six starters from last year. They've been there before. Yeah. Another thing, too, is, you know, from a fielder's perspective, if your pitcher is throwing strikes, you're in the game. You're alert because oh, you know that there's yes, going to be swings. Yes. You're alert. You know, when a pitcher walks six in a row or something, you kind of dig a hole like you were in Little League out. Oh, absolutely. Spot, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But when your pitcher's throwing strikes and you know he's throwing strikes, you are ready. Oh, I agree with that 100%, John. And, and, there, and there's a pride factor, too. You know, you got a pitcher out there throwing strikes. You want to be alert and you want to make the plays because you don't want to let him down. Right. You know? Right. No, that's a very good point. And now we have junior Jake Davison, our first baseman up, wearing number 13. So Keegan Smith getting ready for his second inning of work. Throws the ball a little outside. And Jake trying to get Hazen on, get on base here to start the inning with um, Brendan Moody coming up next. And Owen scores that. There's a nice swing and a miss. But it was a good rip. That was a good rip. Brings the count to one and one. You know, for the most part, both pitchers are right around the plate. Mont players walked a gate. Guy or two, a couple of wild pitches, but that ball's inside. He's thrown a lot more pitches than uh, Lyle. He, he is. You know, he had to face six batters at That's first right. inning. That's right. Oh, there's a good cut, but it fouled down the first base side. It was a good cut by Jake, just a little behind it, but good a little, swing. A little inside out swing. Yeah, trying to poke it down the line there. Ball high and outside. Good job laying off that. So now we got a full count, three and two, big pitch here. 
It'd be kind of nice to get that first runner on base. Oh, it sure would. Oh, way outside. So we got the first runner up. Good at bat by Davison laying off those high pitches. It's hard. They come in at your eyes. Hard not to swing at them. Jake did a good job laying off those. Going to have a meeting on the mound. The Montpelier coach going to settle his pitcher down. Now we got Brendan Moody coming up, Mike. Runner on first with nobody out. And uh, Lyle Rooney pitching a good game. Do you uh, have Moody bunt? Get the yeah, right scoring position? That's definitely a possibility. You know, Moody coming from playing on that great people's team last year. I'm sure he has the uh, skills to be able to do that if that's what Coach Howard decides. Yeah. And another thing, too, with Moody's speed, they better field it cleanly because he could beat it out. Right, not right. Not just sacrifice. Right, absolutely. But, again, first time being outside. <laughs> it's hard. To, it is. It's, it is. It's, it's hard to square around and bunt. It is. Tell you, for, for some of these teams in northern Vermont, John, they get a practice or two outside and they're right on the field. Yeah. Well, Lamoille has a game today and they had to play it, I think it's in Fairfax, because their field, the snow just went, their field's still not ready. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it'll yep. be ready next week, but not this week. So we'll see what happens. Yep, Moody squares around, takes it though, ball. Oh. Yep, good job getting the bat back by Moody. Now the third baseman wasn't charging at all. So we'll see what happens. So he showed bunt. Sometimes they'll show it and then swing away. So we'll see what happens. I don't think any of the fielders are going to be moving much. You know, he squares around, lays it down. Oh, between. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a beautiful that's spot. That's a beautiful bunt. Yep. Oh, and he almost beats it out, but it's a great sacrifice bunt. <coughs> Couldn't have been in a better spot, really, John. Put it between the first baseman and the pitcher. And, you know, sometimes that could have been a little confusing because the first baseman could have charged in to get it and left first right. baseman open. Right, but, right. But they didn't do that. Uh, but but did his thing, got the runner over to second. Now we got a runner in scoring position. We have Owen Scorstad up, our right fielder, who is a freshman. Nice cut. Uh, my grandson, Ryan, you know him, Mike. Yes, yeah. He uh, played Babe Ruth in Hardwick last year, with, and Owen was on the team. Oh, he, nice. He, he and Owen did a great job. Owen's a good kid. And nice. He and Owen had a great time. And I think I don't want to miss anybody, but we have a good group of freshmen with um, Owen, um, Jacob Hayden, Justin Montgomery, James's little brother, and I believe Alex Boley are our freshmen. So it's it's great to have that group of freshmen is, coming up and is. being excited about playing and, and keep that's, the program great. going. Absolutely. So Scorstad behind one and two here, one out, runner on second. There's a pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. But he took, he didn't stand there looking. He took three good swings. Now we're back to the top of the lineup, Mike. No, we aren't. Yeah, we are. We yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Jaden Baker up, who went down swinging the last time, has that opportunity here with Jake Davison on second. Look at that gap between right and center. Wow. Wouldn't I like to see a poke out there? Took a strike, first pitch. Second pitch, oh, he puts it in play. Oh, he's gonna be close at first. Pitcher comes up, oh, he's got it beat. Throws it wild, goes all the way down into right field. <coughs> Baker took off for second, couldn't make it. But the runner on, who was that, Jake Davison? Jake Davison, Jake Davison, Davison came all the way around to score on a little infield hit and a error on the pitcher. But again, Jaden Baker with great speed. Yeah, he, I put a little pressure on their fielders to try to have to make that play. Yeah, and the runner on second took off on the hit. So that puts Hazen up front, one to nothing here. Bottom of the second, brings up Tyler Rebard. Off-speed pitch, high and outside, ball one. And we have to, uh, we've got Jaden who has some great speed on first base who might look to run and Maybe a hit and run with Revard up here. Run. We never know. Jaden takes off. Throw down to second. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, no, he missed. It's in the center field. He's, no, good back up there by the center fielder. So Jaden Baker, another stolen base for Hazen. 
Now he's in scoring position for Rivard, and we know what Rivard can do at the plate. We know what Rivard can do on the plate, and we know the wheels that Jaden has too. So it's a good combination, looking good here. For good, they're set up good. Baker leads off second. Second baseman trying to hold him close. Here's the pitch to Rivard. Rivard takes a wicked cut, didn't oh get boy. it. Oh boy, he went after that he one. He went after that one, good 2-0 and cut. Now it's two and one, so he's got to be a little more selective. Still got a couple to work with. Boy, there's some big gaps in that outfield right now. <coughs> he puts it down to third baseman. Third ba oh, Baker goes to third. There's a throw. Throw is wild. Uh-oh. I don't know. Yeah, I think that is out of play. I out think. of play. So Baker will score and revert go to second. To second. So that puts Hazen up two to nothing now. You know, one thing that people might not know about Rivard and Jaden Baker is they both played on a golf team too this year. So they were four sport guys this four year. Four sport guys. Yeah, yeah, kind of neat. And another good, uh, another good hitter and Montgomery and Rivard, you know, is very smart on the bases. So, yeah. and Rivard has good wheels for a big guy too. He really does. So James Montgomery with a chance to bring Hazen. Re Rebard takes there off, goes. swing and a miss, throw it third, and it goes by the third baseman. Another throwing error by Montclair. Rebard's going to come in to score, and that makes it three to nothing. So Hazen putting pressure on the Montclair defense, running at will, and uh, Montclair not able to come up with the plays. And you could really see how Hazen's speed on the bases is kind of wreaking some havoc with Montpelier now. It's really putting pressure on them to make plays. So we got two outs in the inning here. Montgomery up to bat. Here's the pitch. Ball. That makes it one and one, I believe. But you know, teams as good as Montpelier, John, we, you got to get everything you can yeah. get because they're a solid ball club over there, that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, their bats will come alive, and hopefully um, that first inning where we didn't score any won't come back to haunt us. Right, right. We got a time on the, time out on the field. The umpires are going to confer about something. And again, John, speaking of Mott Pillier, like you said in the opening, you can't talk enough about what a classy oh. basketball program they are from players to coaches yep. to fans. I mean. Yep. No, I was down to Lamoille and Mott Pillier came in there and, and they handily beat Lamoille. But boy, their fans were just so gracious and so good, the ones I talked to. Yeah. yeah it, very polite and acknowledged some of Lamoille's better players. And, yeah, that's just classy yeah. stuff, and, and it then, doesn't always happen. Yeah, and talking to the varsity coach down here, he loves coming to Hazen to play, loves the atmosphere. Yes, yep. That's a pitch on the inside. So that makes it two and one. So Montgomery with a hitter's count right now, he can flail away if he sees one he likes. I'll wind up the pitch. Oh, on the outside corner, looked pretty good, but Montgomery didn't like it. And uh, Spencer giving some directions now to Montgomery to look to go the other way. On that outside pitch, that's right. Yeah. So one and two now, he's got to protect. Oh, and he did, oh, he tried to. Wow, he listened to his coach. That was, was great, oh, that, was that was great, great. to see, yeah. <laughs> Went the other way, Absolutely. but it was foul. Boy, I'll tell you, if that had hugged the line. Yeah. Now, Mike, I gotta ask you a question. Okay, what is the ground rule, or do you know, if the ball goes down over the bank, is it in play and they keep going? <laughs> Boy, I think that <laughs> there's think there's a little more more room over that bank that we can see. I yeah. don't think it directly goes into the yeah. woods, but there's a strike three on Montgomery. And I haven't seen many go thrown out. I haven't, I haven't, uh, ever I haven't seen one. Yeah, there. I can't yeah. think of one either. So that ends the inning. But Hazen puts a crooked number on the board with a three spot, and at the end of two, it's your Hazen Wildcats three, the Montpelier Solons nothing. Okay, here we are, top of the third inning. And the bottom of the order coming up for Montpelier. Leading it off will be number six, Niles Hogan. He's the right fielder. Lyle Rooney with a very quick second inning. Threw under 10 pitches. Good defense behind him. And here's the first pitch. Strike, foul ball. Not Lyle coming in on the hands a little bit there. Yep. Again, throwing strikes right around the plate. Second one fouled off quickly, 0-2 on the batter. Lyle 
throwing strikes. He is. He's and he looks comfortable on the mound. He just looks comfortable. You very rarely see him where he doesn't look relaxed out there. You That's know. Right. Oh and two. Let's see if he comes back with a little off speed on the outside corner or something. No, comes right after him. It was on the outside corner, but it was a heater. That was a beauty, John. That was a beauty. Three pitches, one out. And that is the third strikeout for Lyle Rooney, and he is throwing strikes. Now we have, this is the designated hitter, Soren Bay Hansen from Montpelier, batting for the second baseman. First pitch, oh boy, is he painting a corner. He is painting a corner, he's got it down right. He and the catcher are right on together. They are. And Rooney's working fast. He's feeling good. Oh, oh that looked pretty oh, good, pretty just good. missing. A little bit high, yeah. the catcher turns around and uh, says, what was it, and he nods, so he knew it missed a little bit probably. But makes a count one and one. Oh, a heater down the middle. And Soren Bay Hansen was a little bit behind on that one. <clears throat> he steps out for a second, steps back in. Rooney, he is ready to work. Here comes the pitch. Oh, off speed. Yeah, strike broke over the inside corner. Did you see that pitch, Mike? That was a beauty. That beauty. was a beauty. It's hard as a batter. When they're coming at you, you want to step out, and that just broke right oh, in. And it broke over the inside corner, too. It didn't come down on the inside corner and break over the middle. It came down and broke over right, the inside. Right, right. Now we got a lefty up to bat. This is the number nine hitter, Clayton Foster, number one. He's a shortstop. Crouch is in there. First pitch, ball inside. Clayton's, Clayton was a member of that state championship Montpelier team. I believe um, son of their head coach, Nick Foster, oh, over yeah. there. Yep. There's a pitch from Rooney outside. That brings the count to two and all. Rooney hasn't gone many hitters 2-0. Oh. See what he comes in with here. It just probably, this is going to be a get me over pitch. And there it is, a ground ball to third, scooped up. Oh, low throw, but oh, couldn't quite handle it. Yep, good pick by Menard. And uh, throw was a little low, I think, and we couldn't quite scoop it up. A little low, didn't bounce at all. So that's an E on uh, third baseman. So that puts a runner from Montpelier on. I believe first. that's their first runner, isn't that's it? That's their first, first runner. runner of the game. Yep. yep. So now we have Keegan Smith, the pitcher. He struck out his first time up. Looking to help his own cause here. Let's see if the runner from Montpelier takes off. Looks like he's got some speed. They may test our catcher out right off the bat. Yeah, that would be, uh, sounds like good strategy there. Doesn't go, first pitch is outside. And Smith looks like a big, strong kid up there hitting. Yeah, and uh, he, he struck out the first time, but you know he leads off for a reason. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Let's see if he puts it in play, there's a pitch. Oh, there's a pop fly over our head, right up against the school building. Brings the count to one and one. Some of these hitters are still having a little trouble getting around on uh, Lyle's fastball. We'll see, it'll be interesting to see their second time through the lineup if they they um, make a little bit better contact the here. runner goes, here's the throw, it's not gonna be in time, slides in head first, goes to the outfield, but again, one thing about Hazen, like they're showing some pretty good defense. Everybody's backing everybody up. I mean, we did have the error last time, but it wasn't that bad of an error, it was just a little low throw. And, uh, but they're backing everybody up. They're playing good defense. I think that's a big focus of their coaching staff, for sure, doing all the little things yeah. the right way. And I'll tell you, they look sharper than I almost expected being their first day out here. Absolutely. So we got a one and two count. There's a pitch, and there is a ground ball. Tyler scoops it up, throws to first. Oh, he's safe at first. Yeah. High throw, so Hazen's slipping a little bit on defense here. That puts runners at first and third now. Boy, that was a pretty good play by Davison to come up with that so it didn't it was. fly out of play and give up a run. But Davison tried to jump and get the tag on. It was a good attempt there. So Rooney <clears throat> now got to pitch out of a little jam. Runners on first and third. Um, the runner on first may take off to try to draw a throw and see what happens. We'll see what Hazen has on for a play if they do. There is two outs. 
Here's the pitch. Strike one called. Definitely you'll see different things from coaches with first and third with two outs. No outs or one out. It's an automatically right. go time. But yeah. And a lot of it has to do with the score, too. You don't want to run out of an inning. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Second pitch is high. Ball one. Runner's Look. not going. Because I'll tell you what, if the runner takes off, with two outs, the catcher's just liable to throw it through to second and try to get him. Right, right. And Montgomery has a strong arm, yeah. so. And he's throwing from the right. There's a left-handed hitter, so he's going to get a good, clean throw to second. Runner doesn't go. There's an off-speed pitch. Oh, it gets by Montgomery. The runner's not going to come. Good hustle. Yeah, that was a good hustle by Montgomery. Rooney yeah. was there to have the plate covered, so. And you've seen before, John, I'm sure pitchers in that situation forget to cover. They just kind of stay back by the mound and the run gets in. So that was good heads up by Rooney getting in there. So Nate Groff will step in again. He flew out to center field his first time up. He's got a count of two and one. <clears throat> Looking for the third out here. Rooney working from the stretch. Runners take their lead from second and third. Here's the pitch. High and outside a little bit. So Rooney's off the plate a little bit now. Working with runners on. Taking his time a little bit more. Before the first two innings, he was in that rhythm where he was catching catching the ball and throwing right. it. Catching the ball and throwing right. it. Now he's got to get his rhythm down. Here's a foul ball. Oh, right between the vehicles. That, that's good. <laughs> it's always good for the insurance companies. <clears throat> you always see a few back there every year. <laughs> yeah. Big pitch right here. This is, could be, this is one of the bigger pitches of the game so far. It's three and two with two outs. Hazen hanging on to a three nothing lead, but Montpelier with a good threat here. Here's the pitch. Oh, fouled off again. Nice pitch right down the middle. Montpelier hitter there was right on it too. I think he was looking fastball and that's what he got. Yeah. Yeah, hard to throw an off-speed pitch here. Oh, it is. You got to come right after the hitter and say, "Here it is. See if you can hit it." Here's the pitch. Oh, he did throw an off-speed, but he's not going to go. So now we have bases loaded. We have bases loaded, and that brings up the number three hitter, Andrew Tringe. And again, Mike, he grounded out um, to first base with uh, the pitcher covering. So he didn't quite get around, but he's batting third for a reason. And he's a big stick. He is. The wind is blowing in, and it's a fairly fairly strong breeze, so it could cause trouble in the outfield if he could. puts it in the air. There's a pitch. Oh, there's a foul ball. I think it went right off his foot, yeah. and it did too. That always hurts. Yeah. You see the professionals sometimes with their protective gear on that, that foot. Yeah. And in high school, they don't have much protective gear. They don't have gear. much of that. No. They throw a helmet on and grab a bat. Yep, <laughs> yep, exactly. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, he is in some pain right now. Yeah. Coach out checking on him, and he's going to be ready to go. That um, That's his stride foot when he uh, hits, so we'll see if it affects his swing at all. So good, good job by Rooney getting ahead with the bases loaded here. Getting ahead in the count. There's a foul ball. So now he's got an 0-2 count on the hitter with two outs. Bases loaded. Big pitch here. If he can get out of this inning. Right, that would be huge. Now 0-2. We'll see. Uh, this is a good pitcher's count. We'll see if he wastes one or see if the hitter gets over anxious. There's another foul ball. Rooney went right after him. That went off the catcher's foot. Oh, boy, this is a damaging at bat for players. Yeah, it went right off his toe. Oh, yeah, he's in pain. You know, yep. the worst part about it is if it hit the top of the toe, that's one thing. But you yeah. know what? You know what would be worse is if it hits your toenail and splits your toenail or something. That yeah. is bad. Yeah, that, that is anything with the toes oh, is a lot bad. of pain. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Still 0-2 here. Hazen on top, 3 to nothing. Top of the third inning. Montpelier with a big threat. Bases loaded. Two outs. 
And again, 0-2 on the batter. Rooney still throwing strikes. And you know, Mike, I sh I'm not going to say a word yet. See what happens with this inning. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the pitch. 0-2. There's a ground ball. Third base. Picks it up. Steps on third. That's Andrew Menard, I believe. Steps on third. Ends a threat. Rooney pitches out of it. And, Mike, just to let you know that even though Montpelier had the bases loaded and everything, for three innings, Rooney has a no-hitter going. Uh -huh. They haven't put a fair ball in play yet for a hit. That is a great way to he start the season. He's throwing strikes, and now his defense got him out of it. Got him into it a little bit, but they also got him out of it. Mm. So that ends the top of the third, and Hazen's ahead 3 to nothing. And it looks like we have... Our pitcher, Lyle Rooney, leading off the inning. Let's see if he can get something started, help his own cause a little bit. But the way he's pitching, I don't want him running too long around the bases. I want him to save his energy. <laughs> he's pitching well. <laughs> For sure. That three to nothing lead right now probably looks big to Montpelier. So here's the first pitch, and it's a strike on the outside corner. That umpire is uh, giving the pitchers the outside corner in good shape. Yeah. And uh, both, you know, Rooney especially has been taking advantage of it. <coughs> 0-1 to Lyle. Here's the off-speed pitch. He gets a hold of it, puts it in the hole to shortstop. It's bobbled. See if he can get the throw over there. No, he can't. He beats it out. It goes by him. Rooney's headed to second. There's a throw, and he dropped the ball there, and he's safe. Lyle Rooney leads off. I don't know. Um, I'd have to give him an infield hit I'd on that. I'd give him a hit on the um, play at first. Then I'd give him an error on a yes. throw to second. Yep. But uh, he had it beat. I think even if the first baseman had caught it, he had it beat. So Rooney, of course, we just said we didn't want him running much. Takes right off and ends up on second. Now he's on base, going to lead off second. Now we have Andrew Menard up, who reached on a walk the first time. Andrew Menard, who made that nice play at third to get the last out. There's a pickoff attempt. Oh, oh Rooney's not going to take off there. If that ball had gone straight, he might have. It went <laughs> off the guy's glove. He but looked like he wanted to. Oh, he, he had that look to. after, like, oh, I really wanted to go on and, that. And I got to tell you, the way Montpelier's throwing the ball around, if he if that ball had gone straight and he'd have gone, you got to take a chance till he throw you out. You know. Oh, he really wanted to. You could definitely see if he takes off on the pitch. He doesn't. There's ball inside. To Andrew Menard. Andrew Menard. Right now, Andrew Menard's job is to get him to third. Whether he bunts, whether he puts it to the right side, puts it in play or whatever. But that's his main focus. Yeah, if, he gets, if he gets him to third, forget about the hit or the average or anything. He did his job, and that's what it takes. Rooney takes off. There's a throw. Oh, it's going to be close. No, he gets down under, and he's in there. So Lyle Rooney steals third. Now that changes the job description for uh, Mr. Menard, now we want to drive him in. Uh -huh. <laughs> now we want to put the ball in play and drive him in. We got a one and one count on Andrew. Oh, way outside, way outside. You can see the pitcher, Mike, you watch him. He's uh, falling towards third base instead of striding straight. He is, he looked a little off balance yep. on that one. Yep. Now whether he lost his balance that time or whether it's, a, or whether it's what he's doing. Oh, swing and a miss there on a low pitch. Andrew just trying to put it into play. That brings the count to two and two. Still nobody out. Runner on third for Hazen. Hazen looking to pick this duck up on the pond. Two and two to Menard. High and outside, three and two. Good eye laying off that from Andrew. Now if Andrew gets on first, it'll be interesting to see if they send him. Ahead three to nothing and a runner on third. We'll yeah. see what player does. But he's got to get there first. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three and two, big pitch here. Rooney leads off third, comes down the line. Off speed, ball four, high. That didn't look that bad either. No, that just missed. Second walk of the game for Menard, so good eye from him. Good eye at the play. Now we'll see what happens. This could be a little fun here. I think I would guess that he'd be going pretty early in the count here, but we'll see what Coach Howard has has lined up for this. And a 3 nothing lead, too, trying to get that fourth run. No outs. And we have Dan DeGrosley up, who struck out the first time. There's a pitch. Runner doesn't go. Strike on the inside corner. Nice pitch. That was a good pitch. Good off-speed pitch. DeGrosley are taken all the way, looking it over. Good RBI chance here for Dan. Right. Big, strong kid at bat here. 
There goes Menard. Swing and a miss. No play at all. Now we have runners at second and third. Takes away the double play. Um, still nobody out. Runners on second and third. But we got 0-2 on Dan DeGrosley here. So Dan's got to protect that plate. Try to put the ball play. Ball in play here. Base hit could bring two. Swing best, but the catcher drops it. It's off his glove. Let's see if he throws the first. No throw at all. We got the bases loaded. So the pitcher gets credit for a strikeout, but no out recorded for the team. That's the second time that's happened. And you know if that catcher throws down to get him at first, Rooney's in the Rooney's back door in. to score easily. So. And they knew it too. Yeah. And Jake Davison up who walked and scored his first time. Bases are juiced here for Hazen, bottom of the third, leading three to nothing, nobody out. A big opportunity for Hazen to break this game open. Here's the pitch, a little high. I was watching that pitcher um, during the warmups and he was throwing high all game, all warmups. Oh really? Yeah, he was throwing high. And I was talking to Joey Rebard about it and Opie. Ooh, there's a nice pitch, a yep. high. Sometimes he doesn't stride that much and his release point is oh, too yeah. short and he releases it high. Yep. When, uh, if you're a pitcher and you're throwing it high, you take a little longer stride to bring that release point down. There's a swing and a miss. Nice pitch right down the middle. And quickly the count now is one and two. Nobody out, base is loaded. And again, Davison looking to protect here, trying to get the bat on the ball. Oh, took one over the outside corner. And that's that pitch you were talking about that they've been giving those pitchers all game. Yeah. That he's been giving those pitchers all game. And the hitters should know that. The hitters should know that. And um, that pitch comes over that outside corner. Or at least get a get a bat on it and foul it off or something to protect it. Well, well, John, with Brendan's bunting ability here and Lyle at third base. Ooh. Could see. They could see a squeeze. Could I think squeeze. we'll we'll see what happens, but. We'll We'll see if it's a safety squeeze or a suicide squeeze. Yeah, I'd go suicide squeeze and see what you'd, happens. You'd go for it. I'd huh? go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no guts, no glory, right? <laughs> oh, Brendan Moody swinging away, fouls it off. Yeah. It's a good swing by Brendan. Yeah. So 0-2, probably won't see a bunt. Not at this point. <laughs> <laughs> One out. So there goes our strategy, Mike. Good thing we're not coaching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 0-2 to Moody. Big pitch here. Oh, right down the middle, fooled him, took a little speed off. And just like that, Hazen went from bases loaded and nobody out to bases loaded and two outs. And those are two, that was a nice pitch. That was a nice pitch, the right pitch at the right time. And again, we have our lone freshman in the starting lineup now, Owen Skorstad, who Boy, struck out the first time. Boy, I bet he'd love to put it in play right now. Oh, man. Wouldn't that do wonders for his <laughs> That would. Oh, boy, got around on that one. He's seen it now a little bit. He did. Didn't quite get around all the way, fouled it down the first baseline, and quickly he's behind 0-1. But now he knows he can get the bat on it. And he already looks more comfortable in his yeah. first at-bat. Your first varsity at-bat, John, oh, that's yeah. butterflies. Oh, way outside, ball two. And not only that, but I do know the Hazen players, the veteran players. And you know darn well when Owen went back, they were just like all encouraging and not worry about it. We got this and we got you and all that stuff. Makes a kid feel good. It does. And they're, what a great group of kids. Yeah. A lot of good senior oh. leaders on that team. They they all have different roles as far as leadership, but they're they're uh, yep. just a great group of kids. So now it's two and one to Owen. Oh, three and one, big pitch coming up right here. So Owen should be sitting on a fastball, three and one. But in this case, sometimes a pitcher will overthrow and throw it in the right. dirt. Right, right. Throw it in the dirt. Ooh, right down the middle. Yeah, that was right a nice catch. Right down the middle, three and two, Owen didn't like it. Now, runners will be in motion, three and two, two outs. Big pitch of the game, bigger for Montpelier than for Hazen. Hazen already on top, three to nothing. We'll see if Montpelier can get out of it. Whoa! Wow, oh, good Owen, swing. Owen making him work. He's hanging tough, see that? Now you just see Jaden just says, all right, Owen, way to go. You know, I mean, they're all for each other. Yeah. Giving yeah. him confidence. And I'll tell you what, when a team does that, they go a long ways usually. Oh, it makes a big difference. Yeah. I mean, that was Lyle Rooney, excuse me, not Jaden. 
Of course, Lyle knows a hit right now helps his cause. <laughs> <laughs> okay, big pitch right here. Oh, inside. Owen fouled off a couple. Good eye for Owen. Gets the RBI, his first RBI of his varsity career. As a freshman, drives in a run, and that could be a big run. Makes it 4 to nothing for Hazen. And now, the best thing about it, Mike, is it got to the top of the order. Right. And we have Jaden up, who struck out, and then got an infield hit. And you know he's salivating right now. Oh, the base yeah. is loaded. There it goes. Oh, base hit. Base hit to left. And drives in another run. First pitch. Like I said, Jaden, he was salivating. Oh, he, <laughs> couldn't, he couldn't wait to get up there. And that was, I don't even know if that was a strike. It was a little bit low. And he went down and got it and <laughs> pulled it. He was just waiting. And now... Hazen jumps on top, five to nothing. So they have taken advantage of this bases loaded situation with two outs. And if you wanted one guy to come up to be at the plate in this situation, who would it be? Yeah, he, and this guy, Revard, is ready to go. I'm sure he's jacked up now. Yeah, look for a long ball here. Let's look for a long ball. Ooh, they called him one at the knees. That's okay, Tyler didn't like it. Tyler's waiting for one out over the plate. Montpelier pitcher has got to be starting to tire a little bit. He's thrown a lot of pitches this game and a lot this inning. Yeah, it's only third inning. Whoa, there's a base hit. No, it's to the second baseman. He bobbles it. Oh, they got oh. him. They got him just barely. Saw the umpire start to make the safe sign, yeah. and then he changed it to out, but I do think it was the right call. But at the end of three, though, Hazen comes up with two more, and right now they lead the Montpelier Solons five to nothing. Okay, we're getting ready to start the top of the fourth here in just a few seconds. Hazen's on top five to nothing. I want to thank our sponsors again. And again, you're watching it on HCTV, Channel 1080. I'm John Lucier doing the play-by-play -play with uh, Mike Baker here. Um, we are sponsored today by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future, and they're taking applications now, and their applications are wide open for any GMTCC program, and they got a list of them here. So if you're interested at all, just get a hold of them and get in there and do it. They got a good, good program up there. So we start at the top of the fourth, and leading off will be number nine, Will Talbert. And I believe Will was also a part of that great basketball team this year for Montpelier. And they were good, too. They were. Speaking of basketball, Mike, you retired. Yeah. After how many years? 24. Well, 23 JV, but I had some middle school years in yeah. there, too. Yeah. So, so yeah. Did you ever have a losing season? Uh, my first one, we were 9 and 11. And yeah. last year, we did. But the rest, so what, 21 out of the 23 yeah, weren't. So, yeah. First pitch from Rooney is low, ball one. But I was so, it was, it was so much fun, and oh, it's yeah. been so much fun coaching. And I, I'm not going to be done done. I think I'm going to do some at the elementary school this year and do some refing down there. I've got to do, some, oh, yeah. do something with it, that's for sure. Talbert struck out his first time up. Oh, Rooney blew that one right by him, makes the count one and one. You know, I think, think the guy I came after all those years ago was Mr. John Lucier. Huh? Could have been. <laughs> it could have been, yeah. Yep. Oh, off-speed pitch. Down and in, and the pitcher, hitter went at it. That makes it count one and two. How many levels have you coached at with basketball uh, here? You've varsity, JV, probably yeah. middle school, all I, of yeah, them. Yeah, middle school I came back and coached middle school girl. Oh, there's a foul ball over to the batting cage. Yeah, I started out in middle school, and actually Joey Revard was on the first team I ever coached. <laughs> and uh, then I ended up coaching... I quit. I retired from varsity, and they brought me back to do middle school girls. I did both teams there for three or four years, and then that was the end of it. But I coached freshman girls. Oh, another foul ball. I coached freshman girls, JV boys, both middle schools, and uh, varsity girls. So it was it was good. Kept, I had, kept I, busy. I, yeah. I was I was on for 20 years or so. Yeah. Oh, no, it's yeah. It's yeah. good. Off speed pitch, strike three. Had him looking. So Talbert goes down for the second time on strikes. And that is Rooney's one, two, three, four, fifth strikeout for oh, wow. Kyle Rooney. Wow. In four innings so far. And that brings up number seven, Nick Rubin. And um, <coughs> he is their left fielder. And he flew out to Jaden Baker in center field last time up. So he puts the bat on the ball. 
pitch from Rooney. Oh, didn't put the bat on the ball that time. Strike one, blew it right by him. You know, Mike, I know you coach a lot of boys, and you feel good, and you had a great record, but one of the best feelings that you've had, got to be, in my opinion, it's got to be when you see those kids you coach go and win a state championship two years later. Oh, that was great. Yeah. That was great. That's got to bring you a good feeling, knowing mm -hmm. you did a good job and kept them in it and, and got them the basics to begin with and then polished it off with a state championship or even a good run to the right. semifinals or something, right. you know? No, that's fun, and it's so kind of a reason, too, I am get excited about the, this baseball team is Joe Rivard had one of these, one group of the Hardwick um, Little League teams when these guys were younger. I had the other one. We had some good battles between the two Hardwick teams, and now they're out here on the field together. So yeah. that's kind of kind of neat. So Rooney winds up one and two. Here's the pitch. Oh, got him. Struck him out. So Nick Rubin goes down on strikes, and very quickly, that is two outs for Rooney, and Rooney is on it. I'll he tell is you dealing what, for now. Opening day pitching. Boy, he's looking sharp. This is Colding Hollinsworth, and he uh, grounded out to uh, Rebard last time, 6-3. to three. So he put the bat on the ball. So Rooney. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, what a catch by Gator. What a catch. Over the shoulder. He read it with his back, Willie Mays style, no. back to the home plate. And, of course, Mike won't say much because that's his boy, but I'll I just say saw, it. I'm kind of over here smiling <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> what a great catch. So just like that, with defense behind him, Rooney is still throwing a no-hitter. Great catch by Jaden Baker. And just like that, another quick inning. And uh, I don't know if high school's on a pitch count or if they're on a pitch count with a coach or whatever, but, boy, let me tell you, Rooney has not thrown many pitches. So Hazen right now at the end of the, f at uh, after the top of the fourth inning, going into the bottom of the fourth, they lead Montpelier five to nothing, showing good pitching, good patience at the plate, working a few walks, putting the ball in play a little bit, but for the most part, pretty excellent defense. Had a couple lapses last time, but boy, they made up for it this time with their defense. And uh, Rooney, after four innings, still throwing a no hitter, and he now has got six strikeouts now yeah he's you know he's yep. going right after guys he's had yep. some good plays in the field out there and boy they they, they showed some good leather that time of course Jaden did and two strikeouts but <clears throat> I don't think Rooney threw 10 or 11 pitches and this game moving right along because here comes Hazen they're up to bat already the umpire, one thing about the umpires, they're moving right along. See, not like the major leagues, we don't need a pitch clock. No, no, these guys are. <laughs> these guys want to play. They do. And it looks like James Montgomery up here. Okay. Same pitcher on the mound for Montpelier. They had two games this week, so they, oh, Montgomery squares around a bunt, goes down and tries to get it, but doesn't get it, strike one. <laughs> and again, James, another one of these guys that um, get him on the base paths, he can he can wreak some havoc for well, the opposition. Well, he's got good wheels, and he's also a, a veteran. He knows the game very well. He'll read right. it. And he'll know when to take a base. Takes that one inside. Ball one, one and one. And James is a senior, correct? He is. He is. Yeah. He is. So he's a veteran. He knows what's going on. Batting in the middle of the lineup. But I gotta believe the coaches from Hazen are very happy with what they've seen for the first four innings here. Squares around, shows bunt just to get the infield, pulls back, takes a swing, misses it. Nice pitch there from the pitcher. A little break and curve ball. Came over the inside plate, down too, around knee high. That's hard to hit. That was a pitcher's pitch. That was. So one, two here to Montgomery. Again, we're in the bottom of the fourth. Here's a pitch. He's going after it again, but that time he was a little low. Brings the count to two and two. Now oh, Montgomery's looking to drive one here. Boy, that center fielder's shallow too. Oh, swings and misses, but the catcher misses it. Throws the first, it's a low throw, but the fish baseman picks it and get him. So James Montgomery goes down on strikes. That's one out. 
Now we have Lyle Rooney up, who struck out, but was on with an infield hit the last time. So he's one for two. Rooney looking to start it off, maybe help his own cause a little bit more here. Swings at the first one, didn't get it. That was a pretty good pitch on the outside That was, corner. that yep. was. Yep. A little speed to it. We'll see if he goes off speed this time. Tried to, and he did. Broke over the outside corner again. Oh boy, that was a that was a tough one. That no. was a tough one. <laughs> that was a tough one. But you know, when when the umpire looks over the inside corner, it's hard sometimes to judge the outside corner. Oh, it is. Yep. Yeah. So he's giving them the outside corner. But the hitters should know that they got to reach out, especially with two strikes. You know, without two strikes, you can let it go. Right. With two strikes. So Rooney behind one and two here, one out. Ball's inside, works it to two and two. They're making this pitcher work a they little are. bit. They are. Lyle would like nothing more than to figure out a way to get on base and use that speed of his. Yeah, because if he could get on first, probably might not be too long before he's on <laughs> nope. third. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Puts the ball in play. It's a little oh, grounder to third. That's going to be a tough Picked one. Up. Oh, scoop. No, it got by him, so Rooney's going to be on second. The ball's out of play. He gets the second automatically, and again, Hazen's speed. Hazen's got good team speed and the speed. Of, that was a slow roller. And that would have been a tough play. That would um, have been a tough play. That would have been a bang, bang play. Um, but the fielder knows it. Hazen's got wheels and you've got to come up throwing. Yes. So Rooney's on second, one out. And Andrew Menard, who's blocked both times. So he's seen a lot of pitches then. He has, he's had some good at bats. He's been able to lay off the high stuff. Let's look for Andrew to jump on this first pitch. Ooh, nice pitch. Again, Andrew's in the same position he was last inning. His job is to get Rooney to third right now. By taking a pitch, by getting hit, by getting a hit, doing whatever he's gotta do. But play good solid baseball, play small ball, get that runner to third. Oh. Ro Rooney takes off, here's the throw, and he's gonna be, oh, they got him, that tag was high though. Boy, boy, he tagged him on the sliding leg. What it, what it looked like, John, is a throw beat him by a lot, but it looked like Rooney got right under the tag. Yeah, yeah, and they tagged that high leg. Um, but, I don't know. We weren't there, we weren't there. I mean, we have an opinion, of course. <laughs> but every, every now and then. <laughs> but, you know, really, that's the first time that Montpelier's made a good throw. Yeah, and that was a really good throw from their catcher. It was, it was right there. It was perfect. And another thing, too, is um, a lot of times, an umpire, if the throw beats you by a lot, they're gonna call you. They're gonna call you they're out. Call yep. you out. That happens yeah. at every level. Yeah, yep. yep. And that's probably the way it is. And you know, when you have two umpires on the field, it's a big field to cover when you only have two. It here is. In high sometimes, school. sometimes you're screened, you know, by the by the player sliding or whatever. So the count now is uh, what 0 and 2 or 1 and 2 to Menard. They don't have it on the scoreboard. Yeah, that's I, ball. I don't think what's on the scoreboard is on the. Oh, no, no, we, we have nothing on the scoreboard at all. <laughs> now we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we don't get the scoreboard back, we're in trouble. We are. We are. <laughs> But I know that's strike three, and that's three outs. So Andrew Menard goes down swinging. Hazen with a threat, got a runner on second, got him thrown out at third, but at the end of four, though, it is five to nothing. Hazen over Montpelier. Okay, we're ready to start the fifth inning here. Rooney back on the mound, and he's gonna face the bottom of the order. This is Niles Hogan, he is the shortstop. Ah, excuse me, he is the right fielder. Number six is his number, he struck out his first time up. So Rooney looking to continue his masterpiece here. Oh boy, right back to Rooney, he picks it up, got all the time in the world, throws it out, one pitch, one out. Yeah, good play by Rooney knocking it down and not panicking when he didn't nope. come up with it cleanly. We nope. had plenty of time. Yeah. Well, there's one pitch, one out, that'll help the pitch count. Yes, it will. <laughs> now batting, we have Soren Bay Hansen. He's a designated hitter, struck out his first time. Oh, boy, fooled by an off-speed pitch. I don't even know if that was a strike, but he swung at it. Had him way out. Yeah, way out. He was fooled by that pitch. He was looking 
fastball, no question. Let's see what Rooney comes back with here. Comes back with a fastball down and low. And you know, when Rooney gets in his groove, he's just so, like we were talking about earlier, he's so relaxed out there, so comfortable. There's another strike, fastball right down the middle. So right now it's one and two. And again, if I'm off on the count or even in the inning, it's because the scoreboard's closed here. So yeah. we're trying to get it going. <laughs> we're kind of blind without that scoreboard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> one and two. Oh, a little bit low and outside, but two and two. But Rooney's working that plate in and out, doing a good job, mixing up his pitches, mixing up his speeds, got the batters off balance a little bit. Oh, nice Man. pitch. He didn't get the outside corner that time. That couldn't have missed by much. No. No. So, so now we got a full count. Rooney with a pitch. See what he comes back with. Struck him out on a fastball. Good pitch by Rooney. See, the last time he went full count, he came back with that off-speed pitch and just missed. This time he came back with a heater. Oh. So another strikeout for Rooney. And this brings up Clayton Foster. He uh, is a shortstop. And he kind of started the the, uh, the the guys getting on base for Montpelier he the did. last time he, he was up. He grounded the third base. There was an error on the third base, and he got on on an E5. I think he stole a base in that sequence, too. Yeah. So That ball's down, ball one. So busy day in Hardwick today, John. We have opening day for the baseball team, and there's also an AAU tournament going on in the area. And, some Hardwick teams playing in that. Ball two, yeah, and I'll tell you what, that last um, AAU tournament they had brought a lot of business into town. Boy, I tell yeah. you, that positive pie yeah. was full, House of Pizza was full, Diner was full, and that's great for the town. No, definitely a lot of people around. Ball three, for three and oh now. Yeah, and you know, <clears throat> what people forget sometimes, it also, it's good for the kids. They're in gyms. They're not on the streets. They're not playing video games. They're not doing. They're in the gyms. They're playing. They're getting exercise. It's good for them. And there you go. Strike. What better day for people in this community that support high school sports and and in this community? You can go to a baseball game, yeah. support your team, well, get into gyms and watch the AAU teams play. It's well, great. Look, look at the crowd here for the game. Good crowd here for the game. Oh, it's excellent. Oh, Rooney. Down three and oh, comes back to three and two. Boy, he'd love to get out of it right now. Three and two with two outs. See what happens. There's a ground ball with Tyler, picks it up, throws to first, easy play, they got him out. And just like that, it's another one, two, three inning for Rooney. So we go to the bottom of the fifth and Hazen's on top, five to nothing. Now Mike, sorry, Mike, he still has that no-hitter going, just so you know, <laughs> <laughs> through, through five. Uh, he has been solid. It'll be interesting to see if early in the season here, if Spencer will keep going with him or here I'll well, the no-hitter or if yeah, he makes will. You, makes you wonder if he has the same dilemma in the major leagues. Do you throw, do you, do you take a pitcher out with a no-hitter going? Yeah. Um, as far as pitch count, I don't know what it is. It can't be too high. Too high. He's, no. He just had that one inning where he threw yeah. a lot of pitches. Yeah. But. And he's, you know, he's had some uh, hitters where he threw one pitch too, got him out. And the other thing is, John, that might lead to, to Lyle staying in longer is I don't think they have a game scheduled till next Saturday. I think they have the whole week off. So. Yeah. He'd be ready to come he'd back. Be, he'd be ready to come back. So that may lead to him being able to yeah. go a little bit deeper. Yeah. And I'll tell you, with their depth of pitching, even if they had a game Monday or Tuesday, he might leave Lyle in. Because you still got Tyler and Andrew and Jaden, you know, to, and Brandon yeah. Moody to pitch. Yep. But we'll see. Uh, a lot of it's going to, I'm sure the coaches are asking him how he's feeling, how the arm's doing. You know, it is the first game. It looks like Coach Rivard's talking to him, actually, as yeah. you said that down there, having a conversation, and I'm sure that's part of what's going on. And if they're taking him out, they're explaining to him why, because you know no player wants to come out. Not at all. <laughs> Especially if you're on the mound throwing like the way he's thrown today. Yeah. 
So, oh, we got the scoreboard back, Mike. All right. Thank goodness. That's going to help us out a little bit. I, I, I wouldn't have had, I didn't have trouble with a half inning, but after two and a half innings, I might have had trouble. <laughs> but here we go. We're in the bottom of the fifth now. Throw goes down to second. Oh, nice throw by the catcher. And um, we're going to have the first Hazen batter here. And we're leading off this inning with Dan DeGroslier. Dan has struck out a couple times. But one of those times he hustled down and got on first base. And again, Dan is a really capable hitter that he showed, definitely showed that last season. Ball low, 1-0, the same Montpelier pitcher still in there. And he's thrown a ton of pitches. He has. Yeah. But Montpelier had two games this week getting them in, so they're probably a little short on pitching depth. There's a pitch a little bit high, but Dan went after it. Makes it count one and one. Yeah, there was that three or four game stretch last year, and I don't think Dan. There made. we go. Ground ball to short, scooped up. Oh, did he call? I think they called. He caught it in the air. Oh, okay. I think that's must. Must he but, picked it right off the ground? Then must yeah. be. I don't know. But during that stretch last year, three or four games, I don't think Dan made an out. He was on fire. So yeah, much, I kept reading about him in the paper. Yeah, the shortstop went down to grab it, so I was pretty sure it was a ground ball, but he caught it in the air. I thought it was too. And yeah. We have Jake Davison up. Jake's walked, struck out, and he scored a run today. So Jake takes the first pitch, strike one. Now we got one out. And again, we're in the bottom of the fifth already. Second pitch fouled off the backstop, quickly behind 0-2. Davison looked like he was on that pitch. I think it just got about five degrees warmer, John. Boy, it is, the wind, wind blew, uh, stopped blowing. Yeah. Three pitches, three strikes, down goes Davison. So quickly, two outs here for Hazen in the bottom of the fifth. Again, John, do you think Brendan looks to use that bunting skills and speed? Two outs to try to start start something here? Uh, I, I think know. I would, but the third baseman's playing back quite a ways. Brendan's swinging away, mm -hmm. takes a strike. That ball's high and outside, and Brendan wasn't squaring around at all. So, But now would be a good time to square around there and expecting it. Not at all. One and one here on Moody. Moody, the transfer from PA. Ball in the dirt. Nice stop by the catcher. And he fit right in with that group of guys during basketball season. And oh, yeah. Boy, he can shoot the ball, that's for sure. Yeah, and he f I'll tell you, that game he had nine threes. He was really on. He was he? on fire. They couldn't stop him. Nope. Yeah. Ooh, takes a wicked cut there. But you know he pulled his leg and stepped right towards third right base. Right toward, I was noticing the same thing, John, same yeah. thing. When you step towards third base, you can't reach that outside play. Two and two with two outs. Ground ball down the first baseline, yeah. foul. Good job by Moody staying alive with two strikes. Boy, this pitcher speeded up. Um, Pitch speed. Oh, oh, call that outside corner again. And just like that, Hazen goes down one, two, three. So we go to the top of the six. Hazen in control of this game with Rooney on the mound. And they lead Montpelier five to nothing. All right, so we're headed to the top of the six inning here. And uh, top of the order up for Montpelier. This is uh, Keegan Smith. He struck out his first time, then he reached on an error by the shortstop. Second time up. So Rooney looking to. Mike, to me, this is an important inning. If we can get a shutdown inning here after being shut out quickly last inning, we'll be, be in good shape. Absolutely. Yep. First pitch was an off-speed pitch, swung at and missed. Strike one. Oh, another off-speed pitch on the outside corner. The batter was way ahead of it, stepped out. He was completely fooled. Now we'll see what Rooney comes back with. That's working for him pretty good. We'll see if he throws it a little bit further outside. Oh, 
Oh, went just to, went, missing. Went to the same spot with a little heat this time, though, but uh, batter laid off, so that brings the count to one and two. <clears throat> Nobody out here just starting the sixth inning. Hazen on top, five to nothing. Here's the pitch, one and two. Oh, a little bit high, brings the count to two and two. The defense behind him, hoping to keep up the stellar play this inning. Be nice to get out of this inning. It would be. Here's the pitch. Ooh, inside, so he's gone from 0 oh and 2 to 3 and 2. So now, now Mike, let me ask you this. 3 and 2, who's more pressure on, pitcher or the hitter? I, I, would, say <laughs> it's a, I would say it's more of a hitter's count, wouldn't you, John? I would too. Oh, ball four, four straight balls. Yeah, it's un very unusual for Rooney to do that. Yeah. That is only Rooney's second walk. And, uh, oops. Spencer and the coaches, he's going to go out and he's going to see if Rooney might be just a little tired. You know, it is the first game of the year. It is. Warm day compared to what it has been. Yeah. And with no breeze, that sun is beating down. Yeah. You go from 45-degree days to 75-degree degree days. That makes a big difference. Yeah, that makes a big difference. You go from parkas to shorts. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I had a morning this week, John, I think the first warm day that I went for a walk in the morning with a winter coat on and with shorts and t-shirts by afternoon. It's yeah. Yeah. beauty of Vermont weather. So they did switch pitchers. Looks like Tyler Revard in. Tyler Revard in. So that must mean Rooney's probably going to short. And Rooney leaves the game with one, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts that I have. Of course, it's all unofficial. Yeah, that's a very solid first game Seven for Seven strikeouts, actually. Seven strikeouts and didn't give up a base hit. Uh, good fielding behind him for the most part. Uh, the, the great catch by Jaden Baker out in center field preserved the no-hitter. So if it wasn't the first game of the year, and if actually if Rooney hadn't thrown four straight balls, he might have still been in there. Yeah. But, you know, this is one game, and uh, the coaches for Hazen are saying, you know, we're not going to ruin this kid's arm just to get a no-hitter out of him, you know, in high school and not have him for the rest of the season because the way he pitched today, you definitely want him for the rest of the season. <laughs> yes, you do, John. He was all, all over that strike zone today, just two walks, seven strikeouts and two walks. Major League pitchers get paid a lot of money to do that. Yes, they do. <laughs> and these Hazen coaches do a great job looking they at do. the big pitch picture of what this what they want out of the season. Yeah. Well, you look at the Hazen coaching staff, and they've all got baseball experience behind them, played, coached on different levels themselves, and they all get along good, and they're on the same, same wavelength. Yeah. Okay, this brings up Nate Groff. Now, he flew out to center field, and then he walked. So we'll see if Tyler can shut him down and preserve this victory for his teammate. Tyler, runner on first, working from the stretch. First pitch is a strike, is a ground ball to second base. Looking for two. Goes move. to first, one. Oh, threw it out of play. Trying to rush the throw. Of course, that was Rooney, right? Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, over yeah. through there. But they did get, they did get an out. And uh, that's what counts. Um, Rooney going fresh off the mound, to having to make a throw at shortstop. Yeah. They yeah. were trying to hurry it, trying to turn two there, and didn't work out. Yeah. So they got a runner on second now, but they did get an out. And right now, being in the sixth inning, Montpelier has, uh, what, uh, five more outs left. And Hazen's in a position right now where they will, uh, they get another out or so, they'll start trading it out for a run just to get the game out. And they don't care if they win by three or five. They got a pinch runner now, number two for Montpelier. Comes in for Nate Groff. I don't know his name, but it's number two for Montpelier. And uh, he's gonna run, so we might. Probably got a little speed yeah, out I, there. I'm sure he does. Yeah. And this brings up Andrew Tringe, the number three hitter. He grounded out, pitcher to first. Excuse me, he grounded out first to pitcher, three to one. 
And then he grounded out to third, and uh, Andrew tagged the base because there was a runner on second. So he's made contact each he's time up. He's made contacts, so. yep. Oh. Ball gets by the catcher. The runner goes to third. Now Montpelier with a runner in scoring position. A good co scoring position on third base. One out. And the count is uh, two and one. So Rebar looking to get this guy out here. Ball three. Montpelier looking to get a rally started here. They got a good chance if uh, this pitcher, if this player walks here. So Andrew Chinge looking at a, oh, ball four. He goes to first base, so that puts runners on first and third. Yeah, this is definitely Montpelier's best opportunity with a runner at third and, and only got, one out. And the big bat's coming up. This is their cleanup hitter, Will Talbert, but he struck out twice so far with Rooney. So we'll see what he does with Tyler. So far this inning, we've had a fielder's choice and two walks. The runner on first takes off. He's going to go. There's a swing and a miss. Foul ball. He's going to come back. That was a good pitch by good Tyler. Pitch. If he can lay it in there. Revar definitely... Trying to get a strikeout here to keep the guy on third, runner on third, bla third base. Boy, with a five nothing lead, you'd almost try a pickoff play. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you, good call, John. You may have seen a few games. Yeah, huh? I might have seen a few games. Well, first game I broadcast baseball, so I hope the viewing audience, when they watch this, doesn't hold it against me. <laughs> Tyler looking to come to the plate now. He does. Ball's outside. Good stop by Montgomery. But now that puts runners on uh, second and third for Montpelier. All right, Will, here you go, kid. With one out and a one and one count on the hitter. This is a big out right here. If they can get an out, even if they have to give up a run, if they can get an out and get down to two outs. Yeah, I agree, John. That's big. There's a fly ball, but it's out of play over the batting cage. So now it's the count's in Tyler's favor. A little pressure on the hitter. Because you know he wants to put the ball in play. He knows a base hit right now. It's probably two runs. Good solid base hit. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Good stop again yeah. by Montgomery. James doing a really nice job back there. Two and two. Oh, oh man, a little bit low and outside maybe, but it wasn't too far off. It was a, it was a good take by the batter. Yeah, and really a good spot by Tyler. So three and two, first base is open, but you'd rather not fill it. He'd rather get a strikeout here. Ooh, ooh, there's a gapper. Nope, there's wheels out in the outfield. Jaden Baker gets it, throws it into second. The runners move up, they're gonna score. But that's a big out, and Hazen will do that. Trade it out for a run right there. Yeah, that looked like it was headed to the gap Boy, for a second. Did. But again, Jaden patrols a good center field out there, and he's got a lot of wheels, good judge on the ball. Because not only that, but from our angle, Mike, the ball was curving a little bit towards right field. Yeah, it was definitely fading away it from him, fading I think. away from him. So that's two outs now. Kind of looked like my driver, John. Yeah, there you go. A little fade from time to time. Batting for Montpelier now is Nick Rubin. He flied out to Jaden and struck out. So Montpelier looking to pick up that second run. Oh, got that call there inside. All right on the inside corner. So that evens the count at one and one. So Tyler's starting to come into the strike zone now. Oops, down and out. Montgomery getting a workout behind the plate right now, but he's doing a good job knocking them down, holding that runner. James has always done such a solid job back there. Yeah, he knows he's got to block them now. Two and one, big pitch right here. A little bit high, makes it three and one. Well, I said before, Ruben fly out. Oh, there's a... Uh-oh. That'll test Dan a little bit. He fell down, but he, no, he didn't catch it. 
Fell down in the ditch. Yeah. That was a shot, though. That was a shot. Boy, that ball was crushed. It was. It was. You got to believe, John, some of these fields that have fences, that would have been the same That would have been out. Yeah, Dan gave it a good shot, but I think what happened was the ground sloped down, and when he stepped, it wasn't level, and he went down. Yeah, I, that's it. exactly what happened. Not I, his fault. Nope. So he doubles. Good pitch by Revert on the corner. He's in, hoping to get out of this inning without another run here. Still up by three. Uh-oh, there's another run. Base hit there, clean base hit to center. They're, they're gonna send him. Uh, he looks like- Oh, they got him! Oh, wow, what a play by Montgomery. A nice relay there from second base. Montgomery, the ball bounced, but Montgomery held onto it and the runner ran right into him and Montgomery had control of the ball. <coughs> and he was called out. It's another good defensive play. Wow. Hitting the cutoff, good relay throw, and wow. a great play by Montgomery hanging on to it. All around good play there. Wow. Montpelier coach is out to discuss this and discuss it, and I... I would have I would have gone out. I would have gone out too. I yeah. To see the umpire's reasoning. Yeah, exactly. But Montgomery must have caught that ball with his glove, and then he turned, and the runner ran into him, and ran right into the tag. But maybe you know, I'm wondering if the coach was uh, questioning the blocking the plate, maybe or something, or being in the baseline, or yeah. you know something. Yeah. And in that situation, I would go out and want an explanation about yeah. that and see if the throw was in in time. Right. He, it wasn't heated. Yeah. And he, he no, you just question it. No, uh, but again, <laughs> it wasn't heated, and that shows you Montpelier. You know, they had a question, they went out, and they got it answered, and that was it. Right. You know, their class. But what a play! What a defensive play all around the relays, and and the play by Montgomery was just spectacular. There was no way I thought they were going to get that batter out, no. especially when the ball bounced. He must have caught it in the webbing of the glove, turned around. Oh, I'll play your coaches back out again now. Got <laughs> sound. And just like that in between innings, Hazen up to bat here, bottom of the six. They lead five to two. And this looks like Owen Scorstad up to bat. Freshman leading it off. Then we got the top of the order again. And Owen reached base the last time. Oh, got the bat on the ball. He's getting the bat on the ball now, Mike. He is. Foul he, ball. Each of that bat, he's looked more confident. Yep. That brings the count to one and one. So Hazen, in a real good game, they lead by three in the bottom of the six. Would like to tack on one or two more and then hold Montpelier and go home with a W. So Owen Skorstad, the freshman. Ooh, nice pitch. Let that one go by. It's one and two. And again, a new pitcher for Montpelier is Will Talbert. He was the he was the third baseman to begin with. A little adjustment for the Hazen batters now going up against the right-handed pitcher. Ball inside. Owen he, showing good eye around the plate, Mike. He did, and he that was up and in, and he stood his ground, didn't yeah. back out. So it counts two and two now. Oh, that outside corner again. Got to protect it, boys. And back to the beginning of the lineup with Jaden Baker, who's struck out, had an infield hit and singled a couple RBIs. I was, I was thinking, John, um, between innings, how fortunate we are to have Hardwick Community Television um, broadcasting these games. Yeah, and you know, it's it's nice it's nice for the people in town to watch. But oh, Jaden squares around a bunt, offers, doesn't get it. And not, not only that is, you know, I, I have an aunt and uncle who live in North Carolina and they've watched most of my kids' games. You know, they, it's yeah. been great. And the best thing about it is, one of the best things is these players can go home later and watch the game yes. and, li and listen to how we criticize them and, <laughs> and give them pointers and everything yes. else. And, 
Oh, there's a swing and a miss. Uh, Baker not looking great on that. <laughs> swung, swing. Like, swung like his father on that <laughs> one. Here we go. One and two. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, oh, and two. Excuse me. I'll tell you one thing. Um, not only Jaden's done well to play with a couple of RBIs, but he has played one heck of a center fielder. He has had a good game out He's there. He's had a good game. That over-the-shoulder catch. There's a swing and got a little piece of it. Fouled it off. Straighten it out now, Jaden. Boy, there's a big gap in right center. Oh, there, missed her. There is. If he ever put a line drive over the second baseman's head, he could run around twice. Fouled it off again, hanging tough, making him work. But you know, I know we've talked about it before, but for the first time outdoors, these Hayes and boys have played very well. They have done great. Both at the plate and in the field. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. So one and two. Baker hanging tough. That ball's high, two and two. <clears throat> you know, you can tell when a kid's played a lot of ball. Jaden, he's a senior. No nerves at all with two strikes on him. Right. He's in there, he's relaxed. I mean, you know, doesn't always get it, but he's relaxed anyways. Yeah, and this group of seniors, they have played a lot of baseball, that's for sure. Fouls another one off. He's hanging tough. It's about seven pitches for that pitcher right now against Baker. Baker making him work. Seeing a lot of pitches. Here's the pitch. Oh, went down one dirt, but he's gonna run it out. Kicks it ahead a little bit. Let's see if he can throw him out. He does. Gets him out on a close play. So Baker goes down on the strikeout. That's one out, bottom of the six. Brings up uh, Revert. Tyler Revert. Yep. Uh, Tyler grounded into a fielder's choice his last at bat. Um, he did have a single ear earlier and reached on an error also. He's got an RBI on the day. Let's look for him to get a hold of one. He hasn't hit one out of the infield yet. He's about due, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he did have a good, his first at bat, he had a pretty good line shot to left field. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But. You know, Tyler will be taking a cut at it, that's for sure. Ooh, they're going it, to that down pitch. You know, he must have a lot of movement because every Hazen at bat, every Hazen batter who's faced him in this inning has had trouble with that low pitch. Yeah. Must be some, some good movement that Talbert has on that. There's a rat. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Tyler's gonna run for a while. He's gonna run for a while. Let's see if they send him. Let's see if they send him. They're gonna send him, they're gonna send him. They're gonna make a play and oh, it's too long of a throw. He dives in, home run. Tyler Revard. Puts one in the gap, rolls all the way to the trees. And he makes around the bases and touches them all. And that was a good rip by Revard. That was a rip. We knew he was due. <laughs> and the center fielder was out there trying to pick it up in the leaves and <laughs> out there. And yeah. That was a good rip. A little home field advantage. Yep. <laughs> that, but was, that was still, a shot. That's a shot. You get it out in the leaves, that you was deserve a, a little home field advantage. <laughs> <laughs> but what a rap. Boy, that's a big run. And that wasn't a high towering shot. It was just no, a line drive was a shot. If it had been a high towering shot, the center fielder might have had time to get right. under it. Well, that was ripped. Yeah. That'll spark the team a little. That's a big run to get one of those back. That is. Because Montpelier, you know, was looking for a shutdown inning to come right back in and try to get two, three more. But every run we get, there's one more they got to make up. Ooh. Must have been inside a little. Yeah. yeah. Montpelier really wanting that strike. Two 
2-0 pitch right here. Good hitter's pitch. Oh, 3-0. <clears throat> And again, Montgomery's got a good bat. Looking to find a way to get on first base. Start a little two-out rally here. Three and all, two outs. Bottom of the six. Hazen on the Tyler Reebard home run. Extends their lead to six to two. Yeah, he, he hit that on the screws. Oh, Line yeah. drive on the screws. Nice pitch. But Montgomery taking all the way. Three and all, two outs. And that... Hit by Rivard was on a line drive far enough. It might have been over some fences too. If it had been a fence, it would have had a chance. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yep. Ball four. There goes Montgomery. Now let's see. With two outs, do you send him? Try to get him into scoring position with two outs. Have the runner take a pitch. Yeah. I mean, have the. I, I'm batter. thinking maybe take one and go. Maybe take one and go. Maybe. Let's see if they can get him. But Montgomery definitely has that speed to be able to yeah. get in there. Yeah, he doesn't, uh, to quote unquote, doesn't run like a catcher. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's off. He's taking a good lead. Let's see what happens. Oh, pitcher steps off. Pitcher knows he might go. Yes. Yeah. Here's a pitch. He goes. Takes a pitch. There's a throw. Uh-oh. Oh, they got him. Oh, yep, nice that, play, nice throw. That was another nice throw from yep. the Montpelier catcher. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Nate Groff. Nate Groff, the second catcher. good throw of the game today. Yeah. Um, but I don't. I I still like the play. You got a four-run lead, two outs. The best chance to get that runner into scoring position. Then you otherwise, if he stays on first, it takes two hits to get him in. You got to go through two batters. I like the play. You got some good wheels, but it was a great throw. If that, that throw had been two feet higher, even though right, say chest high instead of knee high, he's safe. Right. It took a good throw. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, let's see if Hazen can come back now and hold him down top of the seventh. It'll make our job easier. We don't have to broadcast the last. <laughs> half <of the> year. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been fun today, John. It has. It has. I've enjoyed it a lot. So let's see if we can get out of this inning. As I said before, it's the top of the seventh. Hazen Montpelier with the Wildcats on top, six to two. Before we start the seventh inning, again, I want to thank our sponsors. <clears throat> they sponsor every game. We really appreciate it. And again, you're watching HCTV, channel 1080. Or you can stream stuff live or look up in the archives or whatever at www.hctv.us. And we're sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support all Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center at GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. The applications are now open for any GMTCC program, and they got a pile of them, and they do very well. They, they put uh, kids out at the national competitions, and boy, they do well. A lot of kids from Hardwick have gone there. It's just a wonderful, wonderful program. It you is. Know, a kid is. can go down there with a career and come out of there. And I'll tell you, they're well known enough down there that uh, they get recruited out of that high school. And a lot of companies will send a, take a kid and send them to a school for a year to learn whatever trade they're in and then bring them back to the company. And that's just good for the school and for the community and everything. So, oh, Solid program. <clears throat> it is. It is a solid program. So we got a pinch hitter here. This is number 12. I don't know his name, of course. But number 12. Right-handed batter. Montpelier looking to get him on base to start the inning and try to start a little rally here. Yeah. And first, first hitter's a big hitter. Got to keep him off the base. Got to get him. Rebard with a pitch. Ooh. Overthrew that one a little bit. Ball one. Nothing uh, coaches from Hazen would like to get a quick inning and get out of get here. Get out of here. And have lunch. That's yes. right. That's right. Rivard working quickly. There's a ground ball to third. Scooped up. Easy throw. Oh, on one hop, but it's corralled down there. Yeah, good play by Davison getting the one hop throw there. Yep. But I like the play that Menard made. He came up. He didn't try to overthrow it and throw that over the guy's head. And a first baseman will tell you, I played first base in Babe Ruth and stuff. They'll tell you, you throw me a one hopper, I got a chance at it. Yeah. I can block it or scoop it with a glove. You throw it over my head, especially the way I jump, 
You don't have to be fire over my head. Yeah, <laughs> yes. it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. You actually see some of the major league players now purposely throwing yeah. that one hopper over. Especially if they've ranged a lot and they're right. not on balance when they throw. Right. Throw a one hopper. Oh, throw some deep short and yep. stuff like that. There's a strike. Number 10 is batting. Another, uh, no, this is Soren Bay Hansen, the designated hitter. He struck out twice so far. And uh, he's got a one and one count right now. Revired. Oh, just missed inside. A little bit low, maybe. Makes it two and one. But they did get that first out. And that's huge. That is huge, John. Because that's the one that's pressure. You want to get that first one. Now they kind of fall in place. Oh, Revired just a little bit low. That makes it three and one. <clears throat> Ahead six to two. You don't want to give many free passes if you can help it. Oh, nice pitch. Nice pitch. Hitter it taking was. hitter taken all the way, and I don't blame him. It's three and one. Looking to get on any way he can. Because Montpelier needs base runners. Big pitch right here. If Revard can get this over and get it out, that'll be huge. Oh, foul ball. Nice pitch though. He did get it over. Hitter hanging tough. That's Soren Bay Hansen, the designated hitter. Hanging tough. Gonna make Revard throw to him. Here's Tyler. Struck him out. Good pitch by Revard. Good solid pitch there. So that's two outs quickly with no runners. But here's a dangerous hitter. He puts the ball in play. Clayton Foster, infield's got to be sharp. He's put it to the infield twice. <laughs> Grounded out to shortstop both times. Ball low. Revard looking to finish this quickly. We're in the bottom of the sixth. There's two outs. Hazen's on top. Uh, bottom of the seventh, excuse me. Oh, there's a wrap to second base. Knocked down. Will he get him? Nope. Beat it out. Brendan knocked it down. Uh, that was a well hit ball by Foster. Yeah. Good hustle down the line. It came up tough on Brendan. Brendan did knock it down, but it bounced away from him a little bit instead of dropping right in front of him. And, uh, and you know, you got to give it to Foster. Down four runs, two outs in the last inning, and he was hustling down. Going that hard line. all the way. Going hard all the way, yep. Yeah. So now we have Keegan Smith. He's reached on an error and a walk. Swinging away, whoa, foul ball. Nice play there by a member of the audience. Sign him yes. up. It's either catch it or wear it. <laughs> <laughs> but quickly, one strike and a little bit bigger strike zone on this fella. Let's see if the runner takes off because Hazen will let him go. Oops, called timeout here. I don't think Hazen will throw it. Maybe they'll throw down. But that runner on first means nothing. Nope, just that third out. And it's that third out. He's not going. Ball outside, one and one. Of course, you know, if you're the Montpelier coach, you don't want to take a chance with a third out at second base, even though chances are Hazen wouldn't throw it, but you, yeah. never, you never know. You don't want to run into that final out no, of the game. No, and you never know. Not going, there's a pitch, another foul ball. Now we're down to one and two. One and two with two outs. Bottom of the seventh, Hazen on top, six to two. John Lucia here with Mike Baker, bringing you all the action. Been a great great day, John. Oh, Fun game, beautiful day. Sitting in the sun, the rocking chair. Pretty good. It is, it is. I've done worse things. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, one and two pitch. Let's end it right here. Oh, inside, inside. Nice stop by Montgomery. Montgomery's been solid behind the plate he today. He has been. He yeah. <clears throat> Actually, the whole team's been solid, you know. For first open, oh, for opening boy. day for them. and If they play like this and get the pitching they get, they're going to win a lot of games. They will. There's a ground ball to Moody. Could end it right here. Picks it up. Easy throw to first. Bang, there's the ball game. 7-2, to two, your final score, the Hazen Wildcats. I mean, six to two, excuse me. The Hazen Wildcats over the Montpelier Solons. This is John Lucier along with Mike Baker saying so long. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast, and we'll see you at the next one. Have a good day.